Hiya, so, oh my god, I've had a day, I've had a day. I filmed a video this morning and I've been having trouble importing it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, okay. And for some reason it just wasn't importing and I realised that once again I had filmed it in slow-mo. <laughs> just come to edit it and it's in slow-mo. Oh my god, what kind of moron does that? Ever since I've got my new phone, I keep doing it, so I don't, it's obviously something with the settings. I just do something wrong. Oh my god! What a bell end! What a bell end! So I was talking to you earlier about rage and how angry I am, but I'm not angry anymore. <laughs> so I am going to talk to you about rage and what I was feeling earlier because I think it's important. Um. Basically, a bit of backstory. Since having ED, I've had really bad like hormonal fluctuations. I get really bad pain when I'm ovulating on my when it's the right side. Um, I just get. I never had any sort of symptoms like that before having ED, and now I get all of them. I get just yeah, all of them. Um, I don't know. Go need to go into details, but every sort of hormonal symptom I get. And uh, apart from boobs hurting, but I would imagine that's because I'm breastfeeding. Um, one of the things that I get is rage at, like, just for I'm due on, I get really, really bad rage and just, well, just low mood, just angry. And I've got that today, but it's not that time of the month. So I think it's just fed upness, stress, pissed offness, all of that. And honestly, this morning, oh my God, I was just, and I've had such a morning because ED's been really naughty. Dex is being an absolute pain in the ass. She's been good now, she's asleep, but I sustained this injury. Can't really see it, but there's like, um, from there down to there, I scraped my arm on the side of the table trying to get Dex to stop eating his lunch and just, I've had a day. <sighs> um, I'm feeling a lot calmer now because I'm sat down, but we went, Gen and it got worse after I filmed that video because I took Edie out. I said in the video, like, we're going to go out, get some fresh air and all of that. And, um, yeah. She didn't want to do what she was supposed to do. And by supposed to do, I mean walk in a straight line. She just wanted to walk sideways into the steam nettles and sideways off a bridge. And just, just so naughty. And then when we got back to, because what I do is I drive to... It sounds lazy, but I can't walk that far. There's a bluebell walk just near where I, like the end of the road, but I can't walk that far. So what I do is I park right at the entrance, and then we can walk into it. I can sit down, eat, and run around. But she didn't want any of that. She just wanted to sit down and do that in the mud, <laughs> even though she hates getting her hands dirty. Um, and then when we got back to the car, she didn't want to get in her car seat. She was throwing herself, arching her back, hitting me just really really naughty um it's not funny <laughs> look at that face look at that face you're cheeky um and yeah i i got her in in the end i just i uh but and whilst i was getting her in i like twisted my hip um so i'm in a lot of pain now and it gave me a stress headache I got her in by giving her her puppy book, which was in the front seat. She was like, ah. Oh, my God. So it took about 20 minutes. Just, oh. Today's a bit weird. It was normally Edie would be napping now. She has her lunch, then she goes for a nap. But I'm due to be doing a market research group. It's like an online thing, and you get money for it. And they desperately need the money, even though the timing is shit. So um, I'm, she's not having a nap, so she goes down to bed easily. I've just tried to test run and it says my internet's not good enough, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Which is, which is really frustrating. Um, I'm hoping, I've emailed them and said, can I still do it? Because if not, Edie's going to bed. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's... Honestly, this honestly, I'll show you what I started to film earlier and you'll see how ragey I was. Hi, um, I'm going to take a few minutes now to talk to you about rage, genuinely. <clears throat> oh my God. I am in the shittest mood. Like, I just get like intense feelings of rage and stress, like heart going, 
and I, I genuinely want to punch a wall. That looks like it's shrunk in the wash. No, that's fine. Um, and I just had, I've had to come downstairs, Edie's safe upstairs, even though she's whinging, uh, whilst I put the washing, sort the washing out and just have a talk to you, try and take some deep breaths. And I hate it because when I feel like this, I genuinely, I don't want to talk to Edie. I don't want to talk to Dexter. I just, um, and I must have said rage about 500 times. So this video is going to be called rage because, oh, I was honestly, Normally I feel like that, I get really, really, really angry and then I cry um, and I didn't want to cry earlier, I didn't feel that, I didn't want to cry, I just had the rage and I was like trying to push away the sadness that I could feel there, I was like trying to kind of not give into it. Hey, yeah, do you want to bring the book up here? Yeah? You can read your book up here if you want. Um... And Dexter's also been driving around the bend. Like she's, I've, I've, I mentioned it a little bit, I think you might have picked up on it, but she's a very naughty dog. She barks all the time. She steals food. She eats Edie's toys. She's hard work. And I know it's my fault because I didn't train her properly. But in my defense, when I got her, um, Edie was conceived the day before I picked her up. I was told I couldn't have children. So I thought, I'll get a dog. Got a dog, fell pregnant. And I was very poorly when I was pregnant, so I just didn't feel up to it. And my ex-partner was, you know, we were, weren't were living together, but he was there a lot. And um, he was useless. So um, he kind of went against everything that I, the dog trainer that I had told me to do. Um, so that just made things even harder. So I've been left with a very naughty dog. Um, and honestly, if it wasn't for Edie, I would be probably getting her rehomed just because it's too much for me it's too much for me and it's not fair on her because she's not getting what she should i mean she's happy she's happy but yeah um won't be rehoming her because of edie but what is it what animal is it and when i also when i feel like this i get super super ragey at my ex edie's dad because it's just not fair that I've been left doing everything. I'm trying to raise my child. I won't say our child because he lost his rights of a father when he chose heroin and crack cocaine over me and Edith. Um, I'm trying to raise my child to be a good person and to, to be a, you know, to be everything that... I'm trying to do everything. Um, I'm trying to look after the house, look after the dog, look after myself, all while having the mental stuff. And you know, pretty debilitating pain um, and mobility issues, and it's hard. Um, the one thing that I've realised is that I do need to get someone in help to help me with the house um, because I just can't do certain things, or I can, but it's just cripples me. The pain just knocks me out. So yeah, when lockdown is over, I'm going to get someone to help me with the floors. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired and it's five hours to a time. <laughs> Not that I'm counting. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and say I, I was so, I was, I, it was a good video earlier. It was a good chat. And I've tried speeding it up, but still, it, the sound just doesn't work. So it's honestly, it's shit. Um, so yeah, I am going to check next time. It should have alerted me when it was taking hours to import because that's what happened last time when I was filmed in slow motion. I'm such a bellend, such a bellend. To end on a good note, I had spoken to you quite a bit about the fact that I was upset that Edie's playhouse hadn't arrived her birthday and it was in the post. It looks like it's due to arrive any time now because I received a text message saying it's on its way. So, um, yeah, I am going to try and film that. No, I'm not. I am going to try and build that whilst feeling ragey. It's going to be interesting. So, hopefully I will speak to you uh, tomorrow feeling less ragey and with a fully built playhouse.